was there. What, can I read this sign? Oh! Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believe that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Black butterflies signified death. And the dreamer's death. Oh my gosh. A red butterfly uh, signals danger. A brown butterfly is loss. A yellow butterfly is guidance. And the white butterfly uh, brought dreams of good luck and good fortune. Well, we're not going to be seeing very many white butterflies, are we? Ah, oh, so this might be a clue as to how we go through the game. So look out for yellow things, they're guidance. Uh, brown is possible danger, red is danger, black is, you know, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. Don't be a black, black butterfly right behind- No, no! Oh my gosh, it reveal a butterfly and a premonition of the possible future. Oh! So what if this is like a little guidance for yourself uh, to know whether you're going down a good path or not? So let's see what's in my future. Is it white? It's... What was that? I... That was nothing. That was a bird. Alright, well, whatever. Future's uncertain. Whether or not the prophecy comes true depends on, on the choices you make. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I can view my totem collection. Let's have a look at that real quick. Oh, look at this! Oh, also oh, the first one we saw was black. And uh, of course that character died. Uh, was this one yellow that we just saw now? It didn't seem yellow. I don't know. I don't fully understand that just yet. I'm sure that will become more clear as we play a little bit further. Uh, the past... The past is beyond our control. Wow. It's like it's written in blood. Lovely. What else do we have up here? This place looks like a wreck. Do we have to- Oh, man! Chris? You here? There's a bag here. And it looks like we have to ride a cable car to the top of the, the mountain. You're not in the bag, are you? <laughs> yeah. Hello. What do we have here? It's a cell phone. And it's ringing. Should we answer somebody else's cell phone? No, I'm gonna close the bag. I'm not answering somebody else's cell phone. That's rude. Butterfly effect appears when your actions have changed the future. There he goes. Chris has a crush on Ashley. He's methodical, protective, and humorous. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. The cell phone? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Is it a totem? This way. Where? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. Well, uh, these guys come up here every year, right? So if it's something that's been there for a long time, I call shenanigans, because he should know. Hey, what's this? Wanted. Oh, Victor Milgram. No. Male, six foot two. We'll get a visit from America's most wanted? Hmm. Like someone thought so. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. I wonder if that's the killer. Uh, I want to collect clues. Wait, I thought this was how you look at the totems. Okay, so this is the uh, the first clue we've collected, I guess. A ton of wanted poster about a fugitive on the mountain, dated 1998. Someone didn't want people to see this. Victor Milgram. Okay, we'll try and remember that name and see if it pops up anywhere while we're playing the game. I'm guessing we play as uh, as this character, though. That comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Oh, it's a shooting uh, range. Dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. Don't point that gun at me, Adams or dude. You are so irresponsible. Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. All right, here goes. Let's use this frozen gun I found. Wait, is it gonna teach me how to fire a gun? Do I have to fire a gun in this game? That is worrying. Oh my gosh, here we go. Uh, right stick to aim, and R2 to shoot. Boom. 
R2 to shoot. R2 to shoot. Why is it not but... I have to hold it? Oh, do I have to aim at something in particular? Oh, right, I have to aim at the bottle. My controller is shaking like crazy. Oh, wait, there's the target. Okay. I don't think your targets are going anywhere. I thought I could shoot what I wanted. I didn't realize I had to shoot the crosshair thing. Oh, man, I just got burned. <laughs> okay, look, I'm aiming at it now and I'm pressing R2. Thank you very much. All right, this isn't too bad. My controller was really freaking out, though. It did not like that I wasn't taking the shots. What if you do nothing until dawn, guys? Coming soon. Uh, just kidding. I don't actually know if that's a thing that I'm going to be doing. <laughs> but maybe. Who knows? All right, dude. I'm going to go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. I don't think so, girl. Oh, yeah? Beginner's luck this. Boom. Well... Anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. That was quite far away. Oh no, no! You're not gonna make me shoot this squirrel. Come on, game. I'm not shooting the squirrel. I'm sorry, I'm shooting the bag. Jeez. <laughs> nice shot. Thanks. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> oh, get it? Because I shot a sack? Hey, sharpshooter, right? Ooh. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. It was a white butterfly. I guess that's a good thing. Maybe, maybe not. Still not sure on the whole butterfly thing. I mean, I, I understand the whole butterfly effect principle. Oh, I'm this guy now. What? Okay, I'm gonna look around. The master shooter. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah. Oh man, that sound effect when they're walking in the snow. That's like one of the weird things that I really like about snow is just how it all just, it squishes under your feet and crunches and uh, it's pretty cool. It must be really hard on Josh. Come on, Chris. I, I don't know how he keeps it all together. I, I'd be a wreck. Well, we're all just gonna have to keep an eye on him. He must be going through so much and he seems like, hey, yeah, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, of course it's locked. Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Dude, if you invite people over to your cabin, your creepy cabin in the woods in the middle of the night once a year, you can take that once a year to unlock the door. Uh, well, I can click on the door again, but I don't know if it's going to do anything. Hello? Oh, wait, wait, what? Oh, I guess I have a key. Oh, look how snowy their shoes are. Neat. So, I didn't have a PS4 until recently. So, any console games I've played were kind of early PS3, PS2 games, Wii games. So, I'm not used to them looking this good. This is pretty good looking. Is that like a hot tub? Yeah. Oh. There's a couple of security cameras here. You're pretty poem. The sleeping giant of Blackwood Forest. Blackwood Pines. What a crazy place to set up house. No matter how rich you are. Not so rich. The only bottom mountain. The only bottom mountain. I'd say that makes them pretty rich, personally. I certainly don't own a mountain. Do you own a mountain? Oh, hey, it's the gondola. It's here. Cool. That's nice. I didn't even call it. It just came by itself. Finally. You coming? No, I'm going to stay know. here. I was going to stay here and catch some Z's, but... <laughs> okay. Go on, Chris. Yeah, get in, man. I'll just make our wait. Just like going to the prom. Man, I'd be kind of freaked out. I mean, anybody could be up there, right? Maybe they're all already dead. It's just a killer waiting for more victims. Everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. 
It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I'm kind of worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. I hope Here, so too. Right. You know what? We're Booze always, always helps. You know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. Ugh. So the teacher made him move to the front where I was sitting. Okay, so. So I got moved to the back. And. And next to Josh. That's how we met. Maybe because some other kid bra snapping. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low cut shirt that showed off her training bra. I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. That would... Boom. That's weird. Butterfly effect. Oh, okay. I see where it's going with that. All right. Another example of the butterfly effect. <laughs> oh, this place is really snowed under now. I guess we're high enough in the mountain that the snow's coming down. Who we got here? Jess! Mike's new girlfriend. She's confident, trusting, and irreverent. Kind of <laughs> cool intros. <laughs> I love how it just like holds there. She will not blink. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Also, they have a greeter at the top of the thing. Why not at the bottom? Why not both? I feel like this is a very poor host job right now. Whoa, whoa. What the hell? Jess, hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, there we go. How long do I hold the button down? <laughs> I guess as long as I'm pressing R2. Oh my god. What's I up? I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, Really? Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> well, well, wow, well. he's rude. We have Chris. Here. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. It's just a gift card. Give it back. Come on. Give that back, you tool. tool Don't be the jerk, Chris. That's my motto. Oh, you're such I thought a you were a good guy. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh, um, yeah. I, yeah. I, I try to do that as a rule. Come on, Jess. You can tell us. <laughs> can totally keep secrets. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? She's not part of the greeting party then. I mean, she was just waiting for you know, Mike. Whoever. Oh, Jess. That's classic Jess right there. Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. It is kind of nice. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Emily. Mike's ex. She's intelligent, resourceful, and persuasive. She looks like trouble. She's got that trouble look in her eyes. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. And Matt, the jock. Emily's new boyfriend. He's motivated, ambitious, and active. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Are we Matt now? <laughs> you can carry your own luggage. I'm gonna drop it off over here. Yeah. Gonna leave this luggage right here. Apparently I can't put it down, so I guess I'll just take it with me. So uh, I guess we're closer to the lodge than everybody else right now. Getting Man, it's such a walk. No, I mean getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird. Well, we're almost creeped out too. Oh, it's a creepy little tunnel bridge. I mean, what do you think? 
Guys, Jesus. don't do that. <laughs> this is the Joker. It's Mike, Emily's ex. He's intelligent, driven, and persuasive. What? Okay, that sounded just like uh, Emily, actually. Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on, guys. We're Apparently, I can drop the bags. Right? No need for fun. So is that? So harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. <laughs> Don't be like that. Like what? The Typical exes, right? Always get like this. Uh, let's be welcoming. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um. This is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get <laughs> it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. Okay. So all good? You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Is Mike... Mike's the guy that pulled uh, the prank on that sister, right? Go check on the cable car back on the trip. Right. See you, man. See ya. Pretty sure it is the See same you. guy. It's kind of a jerk. What's what? up? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? Wait, yeah. what are you doing? Yeah, just all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Yeah, okay. somehow I don't believe I you. I need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. She's trouble. Ah, uh, don't leave her alone. Sure. Um, Let's I go really with her. You should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. Yeah. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out? I'll just leave your stuff here and come with you. Nobody's gonna steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? What? You can't no, leave bring the stuff with you. Minutes. You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why can't you just listen to me? Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just trying to be Oh my helpful. gosh. If you want to be helpful, can I break up with her? Up to the lodge, <laughs> okay? What a pain. Uh, okay. Fine. Whatever you want. Thank you. I'll see you up there. All right. See ya. See you in a bit. Gosh, what was the point? Again, another decision I tried to make, and the game was like, nope, here's an argument instead, and you still don't get to do the thing you wanted to do. Fine. She's gonna die. It's Ashley. She has a crush on Chris. She's academic, inquisitive, and forthright. Ooh, we get to look around. Cool. It's very... S uh oh. Whoa, hello. Smooth oh dang! Friendly. This is why I didn't want her to go by yeah, herself. Friends are kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Well, they're not kissing. They're just talking, right? She's she pulls his arm away. You know what? It's cool. Oh jeez! <laughs> hey, whoa! <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry. Why? The worst. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh. It, Let me check it out. I don't, uh. Yeah. Go ahead. Take a look. Um. You know, sure. Uh. Go. Go ahead. Knock yourself out. You're just gonna see your your girlfriend with her ex. <sighs> Was this a bad decision? Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? <laughs> I don't know. I... Damn it. What have I done? Matt. This may have been a bad decision, guys. I should have just covered for her, I guess. Not really my place. Jessica. She's still waiting. For uh, what, Matt or whatever to come? Let's check our phone. <gasps> well, you did not just do that. Oh, Put you. Your hands where I can 
conceal. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Run to the beat! Run! Run! Just run! Oh, sneaky! Just don't fall off the edge of the mountain, please. <laughs> oh my gosh. Crap. If I didn't dodge that, would it have hit me and I, I would fall off the mountain and die? I just feel like everything's going to kill me in this game. I really do. Up. Uh, Boom! Right in your face! Oh, and you didn't even hit me back! Oh, <laughs> oh it's a bird! <laughs> Hello? Come on. Oh yeah, this is one of the uh, the futures I saw. Hey Mike! Oh, this guy sucks. <laughs> I've got him twice, he ain't even got me once, and I didn't even prepare for one of them. Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. Well, I'm not going to hit the bird. Of course I'm not going to hit the bird. That bird didn't do no nothing to nobody. But Michael, you can get it in the face. You cheater, cheater butt. <laughs> oh, oh. Bad news is my control is running low on battery. Oh no! Dude! Done! Done city! So did I go down? Uh I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. Uh-oh. Alright. All right. My my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Get up off the floor, it's cold. Grab the snowball! Yes! Right in his face! Ah! <laughs> Sorry, Mike. You're a jerk, so please get off me. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. No. I don't want it. Yeah, it's so nice out here. <laughs> Let me go. Taking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was hanging out with you the whole time. Just making out? Yes. Quote, well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Can we leave now? <laughs> Alright, who's arriving now? Is this the killer? That's totally the killer, isn't it? If we'd have waited one more minute, we'd have seen. Oh man, I feel interesting in that I don't know what's happening still. I trust that you have stayed in the company of good friends since our last session. I tried. I haven't gone this anywhere. <laughs> we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Uh, okay. Men worry me or women worry me. I, th I would think I'm more afraid of guys than women. Sure. Swipe. Oh, crowds are planes. Crowds, sure. I like how we're not saying a word and we have gloved hands, so nobody knows who we are. We don't know who we are. Uh, oh, heights are drowning. Oh my gosh. Well, being in a high place doesn't mean you're going to die. Drowning means you're probably going to die. So I'm going to say I, I fear drowning. Plus, I really hate underwater stuff. Oh no. Snakes. Not the snakes. <laughs> I don't like snakes. Swipe. Oh, guns or knives? Uh, guns definitely uh, more scary than knives. Am I like picking out how I'm going to die in this? Dude, I already said snakes are scary. Okay. 
This does feel like a menu for choosing how I'm going to die, though. I gotta say, I'm gonna be drowned. Oh my gosh! <laughs> well, <clears throat> I gotta say, I'm not really afraid of either. That crown, that clown picture though, is incredibly scary. Uh, the scarecrow just looks like a scarecrow, but the clown looks like he intends to kill me. So I'm gonna say clowns scare me in this case. Because that's a scary clown. Jeez. Oh. Gore disgusts me. All crows are scary. Okay, I... I don't really... Well, whatever. We'll just go with a gore. Oh. Oh. Did I startle you? No. Sorry. <laughs> You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. I'm not nervous. You are concerning me, though. You're a bit weird. Try to... Uh -oh. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. What? Wasn't I going fast enough for you? Snakes. <clears throat> okay, so we're going through just faster this time. Oh, I don't like needles. <laughs> you get the inside scoop, guys. This is all my fears. Uh, I guess zombies, sure. Oh. M more needles, still. <laughs> I don't like needles. I think anything that injects, I think, just really freaks me out. And that's why I don't like snakes. Oh, storms don't scare me. I love a good storm. Needles. Always point to the needle. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligent. <laughs> okay. Snakes, zombies and needles. Eh. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> sounds like a good movie. Uh, well, I'm afraid once again we're out of time. But Dude, do you charge by the minute or something? What's going on? Why do I feel like I'm being ripped off here? Also, is he looking out over the same mountain? Is this the lodge? Didn't it say like it was a resort and a... a sanitary or something weird like that? Ah, oh, man. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh, yeah? Alright guys, we made it to chapter 2, but unfortunately, I'm out of time for right now. But thank you very much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, let me know down in the comments below. It is quite creepy, so <laughs> we're going to see how this plays out, who survives, who dies. I'm sure it will be everybody. Have a good one, guys. Goodbye. Next time on Until Dawn. That's definitely a clue we need to uh, keep in mind. Yes, light the candle. It's right there. Light the candle. It's almost like the candle's lit. Aww.